Hey, what's up everybody? Hungry Hussy here. I got the treat that a lot of people have been asking for for a long time. And that's doing cheesesteaks. Hungry Hussy's finally gonna do a cheesesteak, y'all. For some reason, some, you know, it's out of the blue. We were in Harris Teeter, me and my wife, my kids. I said, honey, I said, they got, they got, uh, they got ribeyes on sale. I said, uh, I can buy a big one, slice it up, and we have cheesesteaks. She says, God, that sounds good. She actually says, she whispered in my ear and she says, that's some good groceries. I said, you dang right, girl. You dang right. Tonight's the night, all right? I got some uh, thinly sliced ribeye. I, they, I, I bought a big one. I bought one about that thick. I put it in the freezer, all right? And then what I did is I, I sliced it thin with uh, my long Dexter knife. And that's what I did. I had to put it in the freezer a couple times uh, because it didn't really get frozen all the way through uh, because I, I went and got everything today. So I sliced here and there. So I'd slice it and I'd put it back in the freezer, bring it out, slice it some more. So, so what we got though, is we got some pretty thin, thin uh, pieces of ribeye. Uh, ribeye steak had great marbling, beautiful marbling. So, um, so we got that. I got some beautiful, beautiful rolls. These are Roma rolls. These are what people use in like food, food service, that kind of thing. I got a hook up. I can't tell you, but I got a hook up. All right. So I'm going to, you know, butter these bad boys up, put them on the black stone. I got some onions and peppers. Whew, oh man, it's going to be good. Hey, I'm going to quit talking about it this close. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you in close. All right, let's get these ingredients. All right. So our ingredients are, there's our ribeye. Got some peppers. I got red peppers and yellow peppers. And it's just some sweet onion there. Sweet onions. I got my seasoning mixture right here. That's salt, pepper, garlic powder, beef powder. All right, I got some butter. I got some Duke's mayonnaise up in there. You, yeah. a little bit of olive oil. And that is it, that is it, tater chips. It's gonna be some good groceries. Hey, let's get it on the Blackstone. All right, hey, welcome back folks. Um, <laughs> my ingredients, I did my ingredients, forgot the cheese. I have some provolone cheese and I have some yellow American cheese. Add that to the list. I thought, my little girl, she don't like white cheese, but I thought in, I thought that the uh, yellow American, I, I think that would be nice along with the provolone. I just think it would melt nicely. All right, so what we're going to do? What we're going to do, hussy? I'm going to put a little butter. We're going to do our vegetables first. All right. We're gonna do our vegetables. Okay, onions. Onions. Get on there, get on there, see, sweet. Okay, onions. Got a little spice mixture here. Whew, well those onions smell good already. Okay. Right now, right now, my dials are all on low. Everything's on low. The griddle's on, it's about 300 and, 340 degrees right there. Uh, it's, I don't have the griddle smoking hot. I just wanna get these sauteed and get them happy. All right, when we get closer to go time, put that steak on, I wanna crank it up, all right? So just word of wisdom right there. We're gonna go low right now. We're gonna crank it up soon. We're gonna let these go two to three minutes. <laughs> two to three minutes. All right, let's give these a little flip here. They're looking good. Just wanna cook them through. We're gonna let them go for another two, three minutes and then we should be ready for the steak. All right, all right. Let's take a look at our onions and peppers. They're looking good. They are um, they're getting very soft. And I believe what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push these over to the side. So, Just put y'all over there. Get ready, get ready, all right? So, this burner's on low, all the way low. High, high, all burners go. Yeah, that's it. 
Uh, while I was doing this, I also buttered the inside of my rolls. And so we're just gonna, we'll eventually just toast those off over here. We're gonna make our sandwiches, all right? The Blackstone is getting hot. She's 425 plus. All right, got our vegetables. They happy over here. Again, tip, use your cold zones to your advantage, all right? You know up here it's not gonna be as hot. So put your stuff up there to keep it warm, get it ready for the other stuff, okay? All right, what we're gonna do? Oil. All right. Now, I'm gonna put this steak down. It's not gonna take very long. I hear that owl? <laughs> No worries, that. Pretty cool. All right, we're gonna season our steak. All right. I'm gonna cut this side over here down. I'm gonna put a little more oil over here. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and Maggie's wondering where that owl is. I'm gonna put our rolls down. I don't know if I have enough for all of them. Look at that. Boy, that is pretty. 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 Nice. All right. Want to get our cheese ready. Like I said, I got provolone. Provolone and some uh, yellow American. Yeah. Some beautiful, beautiful thinly, uh, thinly sliced provolone and American cheese, boar's head brand. Woo. Good stuff right there. All right. We'll put that over there. Okay. Now, put my rolls. Turn everything on low. Everything on low. You can actually, you could probably put everything on, turn the two burners down. All right, we're going to get this top. Let's see here. One, two. Just kind of portion them out for the size of the steak or for your cheese steak, right? Okay. I got enough for about four. That's about it. Okay, now for mine, I'm going to put vegetables on mine because I like vegetables. Okay, I'm going to flip these over. Woo! Hot, hot tamale. Ooh. Ouch! My cheese, I'm going to do provolone. My wife. She won't provolone only. Okay. But for mine also, oh boy, this cheese looks good. I'm gonna do some yellow American. And for my little girl, I'm just gonna do American on hers. All right. Little boy. Lord, I don't know what this little boy want. Little boy, he'll just get provolone. Okay. All right. Now, let's put that over here. 
Let's see what we got. Oh. Bread is nice and toasted. Nice and toasted. Boy, look at that. Look at that. Dang it, boy. That's it right there, boy. That is it. Jeez. All right. Mine. Oh. Oh, boy, I about forgot. Got to put mayonnaise. Boing. Yeah, boy. Mayonnaise. Okay. Look at that boy. Look at that. Y'all see that? Bang. All right. My little girl. Perfect. And now my little little meathead buddy. Ooh, some extra right there. Nice and cheesy, y'all. Nice and cheesy. Get on in there. Get on in there. Woo. Pretty. Wow. How easy was that? Huh? How easy was that? Let's uh let's give one of these a slice and let's give it a bite. Alright, All right, hey. That's it. Now, let's slice this bad boy and take a bite. Look at that. Dang. Dang, boy. Let's try this. Let's try it. I'm going to try just the meat. Mmm. Well, it's super tender. Seasoned nicely. Mmm. Let's taste it all in one cohesive dish, okay? Ready? Mmm. Holy. Mm. Cheese is so, so creamy. The onions and the peppers give it a nice crunch. I get the creamy from the mayo, but uh, the steak kind of shines through nicely. And I want to tell you what, the bun, the bun is probably my most favorite, y'all. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to make that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all, you need to make one of these. I seriously need to make one of these. It's super simple. It literally took, I don't know, I set up everything probably 20 minutes or less. So it's super simple, very easy. Anybody can do it. Um, need any help? Hey, message me, all right? Folks, hey, I love each and every one of you. Just want to let you know that I say that really from the bottom of my heart. Hope you have a blessed day. And until next time, folks, Hunger Hussy is out.